Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And yes, it is absolutely lawful to uh, carry your firearm with a pistol permit in a federal uh, park. Um, the, the reason why this bill is before us is because at some point in the past, it became unlawful to carry a firearm uh, even with a uh, permit in a uh, state park or forest. And the reason uh, why that happened is not clear, but we know that it did not happen as a result of the legislature's uh, voting to make it that way. It happened because of a regulation passed by uh, the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. Uh, my position on this is quite simple, and that is that uh, the Second Amendment uh, exists uh, for a reason. It is to, to provide uh, our citizens with protection uh, that their uh, inalienable right to defend themselves uh, are not um, restricted by our government. I don't see any reason why we would choose uh, a state park or forest as a place that we would like to restrict someone from exercising their Second Amendment right. In fact, I think that it's uh, a place that someone might need their right to self-protection and preservation more than some other place. Consider uh, someone uh, jogging or uh, otherwise alone uh, potentially uh, could become a victim, and um, a firearm can be a great equalizer in cases like that. Um, I respect the uh, the chairman's concerns about uh, uh, beaches and so forth, uh, except that I think that uh, people use common sense. Uh, there are a great many pistol permit uh, holders in the state of Connecticut, and uh, I think that uh, they are generally a discreet population, and they have common sense, and uh, I think that the likelihood of seeing someone uh, with a sidearm uh, with their bikini briefs uh, at Hammonasset is... Um, just just a extremely unlikely possibility and not the reason why we should restrict anyone from any of the other multitude of places that this law would apply. So I urge adoption. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Further.